So let's look at a basic DWG, waterdata.dwg. There is some object data attached, so let's look at the properties and you'll see that there's a diameter attached. This pipe actually has a diameter of 8. So let's publish out this DWG with object data to Autodesk Infrastructure Map Server. Infrastructure Map Server. So we log in, we hit connect, put in our password, and we'll put this in the writing folder. We can add new folders or delete folders. We can uh, make sure the map launches after we publish from the internet. We hit publish, pushes out that layer. And we're done. That's it. That's all it takes to publish to Map Guide or to AIMS. So here's the data. We're looking at it. You can see the overview map. You can see the legend on the side. You notice there's only one layer called Map Base, which is the DWG that we're publishing. Now let's try to select a feature. Now, if I window a series of features or try to pick on any of these, I can't select it. It's not selectable at all. So, where's my object data? Well, let's go into Studio and have a look at what happened. First thing is, the DWG was converted to a DWF, or DWIF. And that layer, called Map Base, is brought in, pointing to that DWF. Now, we can filter by layer because the layers are maintained. So there's all the layers that were in my drawing and I could filter by them or right now it's showing all of them. I create a map using that map base. So we have a map with a single layer. Now you notice it says the layer is selectable. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to select it. So if I launch this again using a different layout, say Aqua, I still can't select it even though the map says it's selectable. Why is that? because it's a DWF. Okay, it says selectable right here. It's not selectable. Where's my object data? Well, you can't have it. It's not FDO.